when we use fso in automation without fso there is no automation fso is the base for lot of activities we will see it extensively in our projects because the framework design starts with the fso run logic starts with the fso these are all the things which decides how i want need to run fso is the base especially this commands opening a file reading from the file writing into a file etc i want to create a bug report i want to create a log report i want to create a test result report everything is managed through a file system objects so we now make the file system object as a reusable function and in that function we used to manage right we'll see how to do it as we go inside the projects all these are explained any more questions let me know first is is it clear is have you understood what this how to create a file without opening a notepad are you clear on this yes means raise your hand no means type it in the questionnaire no don't feel shy okay right what is framework good question framework the word indicates it's a frame frame means i have four boundaries within the found four boundaries i have defined some rules if that rule if you are deviating that means you are not following the framework so anything i do within that boundary is what framework means from qtp perspective what is that means i define set of rules for developers to follow is what framework is all about for example if i am developing a project or developing an application can developer develop an application without a design document what is your answer yes or no can a developer develop an application without a design document answer is no since why answer is no is because developer has to know how the screen design has to happen for example just it is an out of subject i have now come back to my some of the projects that i manage to explain you what that developer has to do from the point of framework so we have called design documents that design document clearly say what developer needs to be done under that so if you see here there is some called screen designs i just open one of the screen design if you see this developer we instruct this is how you have to develop you should not deviate from this it includes the name of the variables structure that you have to use right if they deviate we say they are not followed the framework that is what it all means so this is screen design documents like that there is a design document design document will instruct developer what he needs and how he has to code right so if he is again deviating from that then we will say he is not following the code for example here there are lot of design documents available this is an example of how the documentation is done in any of the project so here if you see these are all some of the design documents which is given to the developer for coding so this we call it as a framework so the document is purely depending on the content of the document how each screen has to go how they have to create this how the layout design as per phase 1 document right 
and common validation as per phase one document daily result register is the screen name so what are all the synopsis what is the links from this screen what is the header of the screen filters used what is the grid details everything is instructed including the validations if you see new drr there is a field with a validation there is a field validation that has to be performed these are all field validation now this is the transaction fields this is the button and what is the validation of the keyboard functions add functionality so what is the functions so this document please remember it cannot copy paste this functionality is exclusive for that design in the same way when you are doing a QTP framework what how QTP scripts has to be created whether you have to use get properties whether you have to store it in the output value or a data table whether you have to use description properties this class this properties that you have to use to recognize or are you taking the values of description properties from Excel sheet how you want your code to follow that instruction is called framework this is mandatory when more people are working in a single project if I am the standalone person developing an application the delivering the application I may not read the document because the consistency will they will be there for example yesterday when I was talking about database checkpoint in database checkpoint I was talking about a session name has to be same across all users how other users will know what is the session name that you have created and what is the name that you have to create can you create with your father's name can you create with your pet name so then what is the nomenclature I need to use to create the file so this information has to be driven by the framework there are two types of three types of framework standard use one is called hybrid framework data driven framework keyword driven framework data driven framework means my data how I am going to manage am I going to use data table am I going to use file system objects am I going to use output parameter Am I going to use environment parameter? Am I going to use action parameter? Am I going to use test parameter? In which script, which parameter to be used? How they have to give the names of the parameter? Defining all this is data driven framework job. Next is keyword driven framework. Keyword driven framework meant for dynamic objects. When the object is dynamic, what is the method I am going to follow? Am I going to follow repository parameter, shared repository? Is it a shared repository or is it a local repository? If it is the shared repository, where the location of the repository? Or am I going to store everything in the Excel sheet? Am I going to retrieve everything from Excel sheet? What I am going to do? Defining the way I need to manage the property the way I need to arrive at the logic to arrive at the dynamic object which property I need to use for uh, recognition defining this information is called keyword driven framework most of the projects will have complex some are dynamic objects some are data dependency then I need to do hybrid framework with all these three framework we use repository as a base there is another framework where we call it as a matrix framework you call it as an any name to that so that framework drives without a repository right you can give any name to that framework so this is about framework what is meant by framework is it clear raise your hand if it is not put it in the question okay very important without framework there is no automation because in the olden days framework doesn't have much importance because there was one automation guy keep on scripting so he knows how he followed nowadays 10 15 people are automating 
then mandatory to follow a principle behind this is about framework i just took the reference of design you need to understand here framework cannot be copy pasted because most of the people think that you give the framework i follow that it is not possible it is depending on application on which you are going to apply automation it all depends on that how do we decide which framework to go with it first is before we take up a project we generally do called play around you play around with that application using objects by record etc some of the screens minimum 3 to 4 screens different screens one can be a create another can be a report another can be a, a filter tree view anything different controls you try to access understand how qtp recognizes those object automate at least five to test cases to understand what is the automation complexity you establish whether the automation requires more of data management or more of dynamic object management so that is why without a data management there is no automation so data driven framework is a mandatory how much keyword is required how much dynamism is in the object assume that i am working with the retail say for example i am going to an application it is a say i'll go here uh, google this google search i am now typing in google i am typing now say times of india when i say times of india based on my data right these are all some of the exercise i will give when you automate times of india i got now some links if i put instead of times of india i put books now now i am getting a different link now if i want to automate this search how do i automate now can i go with record and replay record is fine up to this google search but the content that you see even though each one is an object but this object changes based on my search criteria now repository doesn't help to solve your problem now it is keyword driven framework here what is the type of keyword i cannot now even manage with the repository so i need to go with the descriptive programming can i directly apply descriptive programming again answer is no i need to use description objects now the framework here predominantly it is keyword driven not data driven data is only the search next i take this open mentor.net this site if i am automating this site i am into now open mentor.net i am now on to this site i am automating this site this site as long if you see this menus this menus are static then the keyword driven is less here more with the data so are we dealing with a static application are we dealing with a dynamic application accordingly i need to choose what framework i need to use so we need to play around on the application understand the complexities of the application accordingly we need to decide so there is a question again see is the static description or a dynamic description to use whether it is a static or a dynamic it doesn't matter when you say description properties or descriptive programming it is whatever be it is you have to manage here for example if this online exams i am trying to manage with uh, without a repository then i am making a mistake because i know it is a static in this static use repository don't go with the descriptive program but if i want to click on to this learn qtp 25 view all 17 videos view all this content might change today to tomorrow 
if content you know it is going to be dynamic use dynamic object principle keyword driven if i know con content is static for example username password this sign up username this is not going to change then i need to use so called static that is repository method i should not use here descriptive programming that means i am not using the feature of the qtp so when at what situation i need to change i need to take a call that is purely in your control once you log in say for example i log in now i go here once i log in the home page you can see it is again my lot of things are static lot of things are dynamic so it gives me how many attempts i did on all these test cases on this particular case right so it tells me how many people attempted how many times i did it so this it is purely your call how long is there a any question i miss no how long it to takes to set up a automation framework in real time scenario automation framework if it is already a project under which you are just joining in it is easy to develop if the project is new entire application is new you are starting as a first time then framework can take months but it is iterative method basic standard coding standard you will put it across not an issue then you sometimes you add more reusable functions more content of dynamic object mechanism management all those evolve over a period of time you cannot say i will develop a framework then only i'll start my automation that is not possible first 25% of automation scripts requires update to the framework to the script parallelly once 25% of automation is completed that means you can rest assured your framework is set and everybody can follow without any problem because all the problems that you face is covered as a part of framework what others has to do in such case if that problem happens it includes how many recovery scenarios what are all the recovery scenarios that you need to create what are all the reusable functions that you need to create what is the name of the reusable function so many factors are there.